We've had an issue for a number of years on Tennyson Drive where it's just it's a natural low point in, in the village. The road floods, the yards flood, so we were looking at engineering options, but we were faced with probably about a $400,000 cost and significant infrastructure improvements and the issue was we needed to move water uphill by about eight feet. So we got very creative. Imagine digging a, a big swimming pool in the right of way and in someone's front yard. Our Department of Public Works did a phenomenal job because they did all the work. They just started digging and when we got the three to four feet we said why don't we go deeper. And at our deepest points we were down 16 feet creating some vertical friend strains to try to allow the water to penetrate the clay soils in Bayside. We basically filled the hole in with different types of rock and then we brought in sand, engineered soil, and then ultimately topsoil and put grass in. So if you drove over there today, you probably wouldn't even notice that anything happened under them. There may be some fresh grass, but underneath there, we're literally holding 100,000 gallons of water. Fortunately or unfortunately, we were tested you know, right at the end of the project with a significant rain. The system worked very well. And within three hours, the area was dry. Now in the past, there probably would have been about three days. One of, I think, the fundamental points that we communicated with the residents is, let's right size the expectation. This isn't gonna solve all the problems, but it should make most of the storm events much better and more palatable from a stormwater management perspective.